will call the meeting to, to order as long as we're at 6 o'clock, I think. Yeah, yes. Right. Um, call the meeting to order. It is the Moortown Select Board. It is July 1st, as Don pointed out for us just a moment ago. We're here at the John Pogobo Meeting Room at 79 School Street. And I've got Robin, uh, Don, and myself, and John Pogobo is online. And it looks like Callie will not be joining us tonight. Um, so I am looking for general public comments. Doesn't look like there's anyone online. Karen, are you, or John and Karen, are you together? Oh, you're Don's his own secretary now. That is what? Oh yeah. <laughs> Scandy for a little. Uh, John, how about yourself? Let's be here for. I'm here for your next agenda item. Okay. Very good. All right. So if there is no uh, general public comment, let's open the bids for the hazard mitigation plan. And uh, Don, my, my recommendation is once we open those up, is to. Uh, establish a committee to, to look at those because it, it, it is a consulting type of services, so we need to look at uh, of more than just cost. And uh, so I recommend uh, having a committee that I, I can be on, uh, and also I was going to also get another member for the, the Planning Commission along with myself. And if anybody on the select board wants to join us, you're more than welcome to. Okay. Um, that's, that's my recommendation. But who are the four? Excuse me? Oh, uh, have you opened them up? No, I have not. Oh, okay. I've just, I was listening uh, to, your, to your comments, John. Oh, okay. So, uh, and I would agree, we will open the, um, the bids. That will give us an idea of, of certainly what, it, what it's going to cost us. But we should definitely have some kind of a committee to have them each scored. And um, then we would provide a recommendation back to the board. Yeah, I think that would be... Uh, Probably the best. Yeah. All right, so let's um, go ahead, and I'm going to start with um, is it um, Threat Owl? Is that how that's? And this is uh, Shauna Pietz. Looks like. Uh, let me see where they. Okay, um, I'm just going to go to the bottom line. A total of 60 hours. Nine thousand okay. dollars, and again, there's um, a number of um, the tasks and the timelines and such there. So I think it's a good-looking proposal to start with. Um, uh, this was Threat Owl. It's uh, Shana Piet, so it's, and uh, the next one we have is from. Seam Solutions, S E A M Solutions, out of Barry, and this is uh, Stephanie Magnet. Looks like. Okay, and I'm just looking for a total. Okay, so um, and it again, she has different breakouts in this, but she does have a total project cost of. Ninety-six hundred. And then there was an additional potential cost of travel as needed, which would be one hundred and eighty-five per round trip. But again, the committee will look at that. In um, that, Doc, hey, you want to take a look at these? Okay. And our next one comes from OPH Consulting, out of Waitsfield, Vermont. I don't see a name on this. So yeah, um, and we have one other. What was that last one? Oh, I'm sorry, right here. OPH. OPH, and, and that was 9256. <laughs> and the, the last one I have um, is from. Oh, this is the RFP here. So let me make sure. 
sure. So those are all three. Um, <coughs> Yeah, I thought we were just planning a commission to move on. Oh, is it okay? Yeah. So they can do that. Yeah. That's the last And right in the ballpark with everyone else at $9,400 in $34. Is that the regional planning? Central Vermont yeah. uh, Regional Planning, okay. CBRPC. Yep. So, and in talking to my colleague here, it looks like uh, Karen will be on the team as well as myself. <coughs> and if anybody else uh, here would like to participate, or, or uh, that's, that's on the line, John, uh, I think that would be welcome, but not required. I think, is there anyone else? Uh, do you have any interest to be really, on the I, that yeah, I, mean, I don't really have a lot of experience in that. So yeah. I think that would be. Oh, I think right. you guys are yeah. experienced uh, <laughs> people that can probably put this together. Yeah, just uh, score it up. I mean, you know how to do these things, John. Uh, yeah. Look at them. You know, I don't know. You know, you know. Just make sure. Uh, do your duty, and then come back, and we'll uh, make a decision on them. I think they're all within the range. Obviously, they're yeah. you know, within a few hundred dollars of each. So. I think really do uh, you know find out who you really think is the best uh, proposal for the job. Let's go that way. So, so Sasha, should I work with you or, or, or Cheryl to make sure that we do our point, points right? Cheryl and probably. Okay. Yeah. I think she can email all the people. Okay. No, that would be great. And and then uh, we, we will try to have a selection for you for for your next meeting. Recommendation. Well, we'll you ask if Cheryl has the, the point system that you want to involve? Well, uh, sounds like she, she at least has the procedure that we have she to follow. She has the procedure, right. Yeah, and, and then, okay. you know, uh, both of us have done these types of things before. So the, knowing what the procedure is is yeah, key. It's helpful to make sure that we follow the rules. Okay. And she'll be able to send them digitally to them as well, so they'll have yeah. all that information. Good. Very good. Well, thank you. When's your next meeting? Our next meeting is 14th. July 15th. July 15th, okay. We can do that. Okay. Yeah, you take in mind you have this big, this week here. You know, like it's kind of a holiday. But if you don't, if you don't, that's fine. But if you can get it by the 15th, that would be good. I'd like to. I'd like to get it going. Yep. Good. Very good. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Well, well thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. Uh, John, you all right with all that? Very good. Um, now we have the uh, village hill paving bits. Such a. We actually have some. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, we want those are the ones we opened last. We week. opened last week. Now Ray asked us to open them and read them. Yeah. And then he was going to. Right. He had. He didn't. I thought he had sent the recommendation. Over. That was. That was a recommendation for maybe you'd like to say for the list. Do you have those bits, Sasha? I don't know if you want to at say all for it. No, right now. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Can I use those out right there in the colored paper? Yeah, can you just um, text some ask? I'd kind of like to know what um, the bits, how much they were. And I think it was like right, right there. Yeah. Oh, Don yeah. has it. Oh, well, they're them. listed on the meeting. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure. That was cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so we had um, 3J McDonald, Hunger for Construction in Pike. Um, J McDonald, and that's who recommend. Uh, that's who Ray recommends uh, after going through the projects, had the lowest bid at 39,840. We had Hunger for Hunger for Construction at 40,560, and Pike 48,942 dollars. So. Went to the lowest bid, and it sounds like their bid was complete and met all specs. Uh, 
there that who were going to go So in. I would move okay. uh, to uh, um, submit, <laughs> recommend, I would move to accept the proposal from J.A. McDonald for the village paving project. Is there a second? A second, huh? Don seconds that. Thank you, Don. And all in favor, vote aye. 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 All right, so that's for John and as well. So we will, uh, Sasha, if you can reach out to them or Ray and let them know that that passed and he will talk to um, McDonald. Thank you, everyone. All right, and now we have the Planning Commission vacant seat discussion. Um, how, what do you guys think? I mean, you guys had um, good interviews with each person. Yeah, They're both both very engaged. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, Deb has a lot more experience. I, see, yeah. I would say Deb has a lot more experience. Uh, and Sasha, you were going to see or look into whether there could be a, we could add a seat or if we could have an alternate or. Yeah. So um, he we was, did, and Sasha. Did a great job looking back. We went into, okay. um, she provided the document, and at one point we made all, or that board, the PC, and you know, I don't have it in front of me, but five members, I think she has it right here. Um, thanks, Sasha. Yeah, this was a resolution um, in 2011. Um, five board, or five members. But what, so based on, and I had a conversation with John and certainly your, your comments here. Uh, Sasha had made a, a, an idea, and I think it's a good one, is, and maybe it had come up earlier, about appointing um, an alternate as well. So that they, and, and John, you guys are on the, the board. I mean, do you often have five members show up? Well, um, if, if I could, we, when we passed that resolution, it was because we could not get Right, and this right. is really the first time that we've had volunteers without going out and inviting so somebody so to please come on the planning commission. I, I would personally be a little reluctant to go from five to an, a large number of regular members because I think it's kind of an anomaly. Here. But, Although I know they're both great candidates. But that's not what you're proposing. That's not what I'm proposing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think, and that's, to your point, Karen, it's really difficult to get anyone to come and volunteer for any of this stuff. So all of a sudden, we had two people, and there was actually a third, and I think he may have bowed out because he said, oh, there's other people doing it, so I, I don't need to do it. But I, I certainly agree with you. I don't think all of a sudden we're rich with people volunteering and stuff. But I hate to say no to anyone that is willing to do something for us. So I think having an alternate allows that person to go to the meetings, um, to each meeting, and if Oh, I'm sorry. Oops, no, sorry. that's right. I was just getting the name. Of yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. Um, and if there's five people there, then they can listen and they can't vote. Um, but if there's less than that, they're able to, yeah. to participate yeah, and vote. Yeah, I, I think that works. Yeah. And then yeah. everyone well, can, and then you also, because I know sometimes you might show up to those and you really have something you really want to do else and it's not the most important meeting, feel a little bit better. Like, you know what, there's going to be a quorum there. I can, I can, not go to the meeting. We, we, we've had uh, at least one meeting here last last two months where we didn't have a quorum. So, right. So, so I think this worked well, and then uh, I guess this new gentleman. Uh, no, he has to get his fee way. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Rob McClarge. Mr. Blanche. Yeah, well, the training yeah. program. And I think it, where we're at right now, because we're in the, the, in the midst of this town plan, it probably makes sense to appoint Deb Sargent the permanent member at yeah. this point. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Blodgett, the alternate awesome. member. Um, and he seemed on board with that as well, so we'll see. You know, and I'm sure, I would think, because yeah, I mean, it does give someone an opportunity to get their feet wet. And if they really don't like it, they're going to not show yeah, up again. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They, just, they just don't show up. Right, yeah. I mean, that's just how it happens. Yeah, yeah. So, um, right. no, so we've had a little input from you guys. You're on the board, what do you, and you're, you're all think that would work. Okay. John, what do you think? John, do you uh, agree with that, or do you have any comments on that? My, my, uh... I, I spoke to him. I know he doesn't yeah. agree with yeah, that. Yeah, we can okay. find a way to 
find a way to uh, put them on it. All right, there you go. A commission like that. Um, and especially with the town plan, <clears throat> uh, you know, rewriting the town plan, it's just a great time to have, uh, you know, as many people as we can, actually. So I have no problem with <clears throat> having right. alternate or alternates. Good. We'll go with the, I think, with the alternate. If yeah. You're going to die, Robin? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. All right, yeah. so um, I move to appoint Deb Sargent, the um, new Planning Commission member, and Robert Blodgett, the uh, alternate member. Uh, second. Do you want two different things? One no. To change? No? Okay. That's good. Uh, there's a second. Second. No, uh, second. Robin seconded us. Thank you. We got that. All in favor, vote aye. 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 Very good. Well, so will the, I just want, I wanted to ask this. Will he? So he will go to the meetings. Yes. Then? You know that that's the plan. Is that's the plan that he would go. Yeah, to he would be an alternate. Okay. He would only have a yeah. vote if so all of the permanent there. members were not present at that right. meeting. So, so what that does, it, it, it gets uh, someone else's up to speed. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's what we said the other day. One of us. Leads for whatever yeah, about reason. About. And then it's somebody not somebody that's just, just like, oh, you know, especially, year. Or, yeah, I, I, I yeah, especially while we're doing this town plan. I mean, you know, we have that with the DRP. Year, you know? yeah, we did. It's, it's a good way of encouraging new people to get involved. So I, I, yeah, I, I, I yeah, actually yeah. said he, he was seemed really excited. So I definitely yeah. don't want to say no to the guy. Yeah. Yeah. He did say he would actually be interested in some other stuff as well. Yeah. That's where you can get him with some of this committee work done. Yeah. And he seems like he's got a fairly got a good head on his shoulder, so we'll be yeah. good there. All right, so um, we are cruising right along tonight. Um, <coughs> that was a good one, I hope. Um, joining the Mad River Valley Rec District. Um, so discussion there. And that, if you'll remember that proposal, um, they right now, Sasha, do you have the numbers in front of us? What are we doing? Twenty-five, I think, but they broke it all down to how many people on the vet. Moortown used the rec district, right? There's a whole and right now we're thing paying around seven thousand, seventy-five hundred. Yeah, so we go with seventy-five. Yeah. And you're just talking twenty-five right now. But is that a year or is that for a couple of years? No, that's one, one year. That's yeah. one year in per perpetuity, I believe, once yeah. you join. I don't know. That's our own thing. Well, I, um, I, I, I guess I forgot. I, mean, I saw the agenda and then forgot we were going to forget that we were going to talk about it. But I'd like to talk about it with the, with the data in front of us, which I thought I had, but I don't. So uh, can we? Do you want to say that we'll talk about it and do it next week? Is yeah. that all right? Why don't we do that for yeah. I'm okay should... with cabling. It's not a decision we have to make today. I mean, I it's think it's a great we'll idea. Budget, Can so. we afford it? <laughs> you know, you know. As we put our budget together, we'll certainly going to know if we're yeah. going to be able to do it. But I know they want an answer now. But yeah. Um, I mean, I think yeah, if we could do it the for the town. Uh, maybe Sasha, if you could read, I, I'll go through my email. Sure, I can find it. I'll, I'll find it and send it to everybody. You know, it's she's, a, it's she's this yeah, account. we have something. Yeah. Like we already have residents using, you know, the service for free. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, I right. I don't it's not necessarily well, I mean, bad. The same thing. We don't. There's a lot of people that come down and use our stuff too. The yeah. fields here yeah. use the rec, you know, the biking. Yeah. So it's a lot of. Back, back and forth, back exactly. Yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah, shit. So, I mean, if we could get any re you know, any work they'd be willing to do in the forest and the trails. Yeah, no, and, right. You know, well, that's what part of it all becomes. A plus, we're, we're eligible for grants with them. Yeah. That's and they're, the they're really locking down some really good grants. So. Yep. Well, the, our grants, the grants that they hand out to the uh, municipalities or groups are generally it's pretty small. Pretty small. So, yeah. Um, Here's the email from the work. 
Yeah, no, that I'm. Yeah, that I'm. Aware but we can of, just so. table it until next time. Okay. That way we all have. Yeah, I don't know if they. Yeah, I have the notes in my computer and stuff. So. All right, so let's go ahead and Bond. Don, you wanted uh, to do some town meeting discussion. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're a little ahead of ourselves. We have one other person that's going to join us, and so we can do it right now. Who is that, Steve? Uh, Steve. Steve going to come down? Yeah. It's 6:22, and that is for the 6:45. So I, I don't mind. To, um, Let's go ahead if there's any other stuff that we can get done prior to that. We should wait for Steve, right? Don't you think, Kevin? Well, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Don, is let's move on. Let's okay. if there's anything else that we can do or yeah. we can come let's back to that. Yeah. We can't, uh, the hazard mitigation grant, that's with Howland later, so we can't do that. Oh. Oh, Tasha, okay. why don't we you start with some reports or communications for us? Um, I have the Sending out. Sending it out. Um, yeah. What I got out of it, I think you guys need to make a mo make motion to designate a public place for the recordings to be. And I think it's just a motion because it's already being put on either Orphans or not the Valley websites anyways. So it's making it available. I think you guys just need to officially designate a place, those two places. All right. That's what I got out of it. Why don't we all make sure we read that and again put that on our yeah. next agenda? That should be an agenda item okay. as well. Well, so I was wondering if, yeah, if we could, uh, actually that's what's in the notes is that, yeah, we have at that next meeting, the 15th, like a session almost. I don't know if we can even, you know, yeah, I'll read it because there's a lot of, of course, information. A lot of detail. So you want to but debrief I didn't it? Know, what? You want to kind of debrief it? Is that what you want to do? Or? Yeah, maybe at our next meeting if we all can, read it so that, and then just be able to talk about it so we understand it or maybe it's, do you know anything about it at all, Karen? Well, the, um, we both read it. The, the league has a question and answer I have a whole about it um, and it's not, I mean, you're right, Sasha, but it, in total it's not as cut and dried as, right. um, because it's legislation, okay, that's the end of my editorial, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, there's some, like the planning commission, in some instances it's non-advisory, in some instances it's advisory, so it's worth reading the, the, the LCT right. stuff. Right, when, when the does secretary the, the rule apply or whatever, right. Yeah. It's a non advisory You're making budget decisions. You can send the PC questionnaire. That's, that's, yes, well, Sharon, I just forwarded an email from Cheryl Lynn. Yeah, I saw that, but it didn't have the, oh, at the end of the day? Yep, today, sent it at the end of the day, and if you scroll down, it has a whole thing from the VLCT okay, where you that. click okay. on right, and okay. all that. I, so, I didn't get to that. So. Yeah, okay. well, we can't wait this afternoon. Okay, all right. So I was just thinking, yeah, it would be good to, maybe we'll spend 10 or 15 minutes on it at the next meeting. And, yeah, I, think it's gonna be, I think that's a great idea. Share what we've found. Or what yeah, we, we, don't want to, we don't want to get it wrong. So yeah. no rush and then certainly if there are any big uh, changes or things like that, we should be aware of. Mm -hmm. that's good. Oh, to let other committees know. Right. Well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, permission to speak. Yeah, go ahead. Um, you, 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 you record your meetings anyway. That's, okay. kind of, that's one of the, the, the big ones is, is, is if you're going to have it where you when you're uh, remote, which I think you have to now, yep. yeah. uh, then it needs to be recording, but you have that covered. For us, we got to kind of think about that a little bit for the, for the planning commission. Well, if you guys, you guys do it, um, if you're doing it here, Zoom, you can record it through Zoom. You can record yeah. it there yeah. as well. We haven't been doing that, but well, you, you have may, to post you, you may need to well. start doing that. Yeah, so that's not that you know, you, cause you're, you already have it going, just hit record. And if you get to executive session or things like that, you can stop record and you can do it. Yeah. So it's nice. We actually have we have between the Orca and the TV, we've got the Zoom, and then we have our um, little uh, voice recorder as well. So I think we're fairly well covered. And then, then you have to put it on the website or something. Yeah. Yeah. Three, yeah. I think it's three years. Is it three years actually? And Jamie, that keeps on your news archive. Yeah, and that's yeah. something we'll have it's to. It's not sort of forever, do. so that's an improvement. Yeah, <laughs> at least it's digital, so we don't. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit easier. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So it looks like, was Steve your third person that you were? No, well, he just ran to the bathroom. All right, well, we'll uh... Hurry up, Steve! <laughs> Anything else quick, Sasha, before Steve gets back? Uh, I've got a stack of um, documents I'll go over and we can do okay. that. Yeah. Um, I did reach out to the Neck of the Woods to see if I could get an update. And <laughs> the lady is actually <laughs> traveling and she's going to be in the next two weeks to give Fair us an job. update. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I had asked <laughs> Sasha um, to reach out to Neck of the Woods just to get an idea of the ARPA money that we sent them. We sent them $25,000 for the kitchen, I believe, that was, that they, mm -hmm. uh, so they could bring up specs to do oh, just Meals on Wheels or something like that. Yeah, to get an update. Yeah, I just want an update to see how that's going. Steve, how are you tonight? I'm great. Good. I'm dead, man. It is beautiful. It's so beautiful. We are whipping through this schedule. Mm -hmm. So, I was up in the Champlain Islands and I had to meet the Lord well, to get here to this meeting. So. so, these are just some notes from the three of us had a coffee at Red Hen, Karen, Steve, and I. And then I followed up to, to the two of them, you know, notes of what we discussed, you know, that, that we talked about. Or, yeah, it's just going to be BS or, or brainstormed about. So there's nothing here that's like written in stone or anything. So I don't know. What do you, so you let me guys just want to wheel up here? You know, yeah, why don't you guys come on closer? Up, you know, so we're not hollering, or at least I'm not hollering. You know, this is a, it doesn't have to be like town meeting here. Really All right, this is a discussion here, Jeff, folks. So we've got um, <laughs> Steve McGill, Karen Horn, John Schletcher, John Schmelzer, Schmelzer excuse me. Um, and they have uh, brainstormed some ideas to increase participation at town meeting, which um, I think is important. We did have a pretty good attendance this past town meeting. I think probably the whole tax thing probably maybe brought people in. I don't know uh, with the school stuff. But um, so you have a nice list. So however you guys want to do it, share. Um, let's listen. Uh, well, why don't I start just by saying that I. If I remember correctly, I, I think I counted 80 people at town meeting this year, which is one of our highest attendances since I've been moderator. But it's still actually not all that many people when you consider we have uh, a little over 1,400 registered voters in town. So um, if you look at it that way, it's pretty pathetic. Uh, yeah, I mean, percentage wise, um, but probably on par to what across the state, I would imagine. Yeah. I think it's it's a surprisingly high number given how little of substance we actually do in, in the meeting. Um, we have some great uh, conversation. It's a great opportunity for people to show up to hear what's going on. Our legislators uh, always come in and uh, tell you what's going on. And, um, in Montpelier, we have people like uh, Clark coming and talking about the uh, wastewater. Uh, we have the um, the planning commission coming a day uh, uh, speaking. I think people uh, appreciate that that they get to hear things. It's a public forum, but it, it in a lot of ways the meeting is more a public forum than a meeting. A meeting yeah. of where we're making any decisions. decisions right. uh, and so. Anyway, I was talking after the meeting with Donnie a little bit about it and how, you know, it would be nice to have even a, a better attendance, a higher percentage. Uh, and so we just talked about what can we do to, to try to get more people to show up. And it's actually something that Karen and I talked about years ago. Um, and so we contacted Karen and said, hey, let's sit down and start talking about this again. Uh, and then the three of us had coffee over Red Hen, and uh, we just kind of came up with a, a brainstorm list of things, uh, recognizing the brainstorm is just throwing out ideas and not throwing anything out, but giving up ideas and saying, you know, spurring ideas and sure. what we might do. So that's that's really the the genesis of the of the idea here. I think um, we're. Uh, we're also interested in getting some of our new residents. We've got a lot of new residents right. now. And getting some of them involved and what could we do to bring them into town meeting. I think also a lot of them are from out of state, so they don't actually know what town meeting is. It doesn't look like this in any other right. state. Right, or, or even 
the opportunity yeah. to participate, right. you know, even right. on the, the local level in, in, in the committees or you know, boards yeah. or such. So, no, I, I agree that. We, I, I can't remember which program it was, but it was on the radio when I was driving around last week. And it, one of the, they were talking about getting people to public meetings, and one of the things they said was, um, you, if you personally invite people, they, they feel already like they're valued, and they're much more likely to come be part of the conversation. Um, versus, you know, just putting out your public yeah, hey. notice. That, yeah. that what does that mean to me, me? You know, that doesn't mean something to me, but an invitation, yeah. it's just... Yeah, like we need to hear from you, you in particular. Right. So, so what, what are you thinking? Are you thinking like we used to do for the school board, where we send letters out to everybody? Well, we did used to do that. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just yeah. a thought. Right? Yeah, no, I, I, that's what I was going to ask, what that looks like. Um, and now, with, I mean, we send out letters that can get expensive and waste and things like that yeah. with a lot of digital stuff. Yeah. You know, front it makes form. For this maybe front porch more present on the front porch floor. Um, but maybe even letters from, you know, the board members or myself who look at, hey, has, the, you know, is this board member or is this the chair of the board? We have a lot of discussion going on, and that we need to hear from, and like you said, point out the, the, the particular groups, you know. Are you new in town? Are you, you know? Yeah. One, of the, you know, one thing that makes Vermont unique is our town Most meeting. Things in, to try to, yeah, I think I'd I, love to have you, you know, there. Uh, those type of things. I yeah. will add to that comment that my personal observation, my when I first moved into town 20 some years ago, I, I um, grew up in Williston, so I went to town meeting in Williston when I was when I as soon as I turned 18. Um, but I remember driving to my first town meeting and saying, okay, so I'm new and I can't speak. Just remember this. I'm new and I can't speak. And uh, I and walked in and I saw Schmelzer there. I was like, oh, there's somebody I know. And I went over and I sat with him. And uh, I actually got halfway through the meeting and I spoke and it was, this town was surprisingly welcoming of me, even though I was new to the town. Uh, like not my mind. first experience with this town. Not your first experience? Yeah, yeah well, yeah, I, I was maybe it's my personality then. Um, <laughs> but I just felt... I was, I was out of order. I wasn't. But go ahead. I would have called you out of order. This you know, no, I actually. I, I, no, I, my feeling has always been that it, it's very welcoming. So if we can get the new people to say, to show up, because I've, been, I've met people through my travels, because I've always, you know, as you guys know, I'm like a big fan of town meeting concept and the, the type of democracy that we have. Um, and I talk to people and they're like, oh, I went to town meeting once and I'm never going again because they just, they, people were yelling about teachers and I'm a teacher or people were, you know, whatever. They didn't feel welcome. Right. I feel like our town meeting is very, very welcoming. Yeah. And if we can get that word out and say, hey, we would love you if you're new in town to show up and so, hear what we have to say. So to that point, one of, some of the stuff we talked about is, yes, talking about getting people to town meeting, but here's the f couple of first top things on the list we talked about was, is do we do something like combine pre and town meeting to make them sort of both at the same time in an evening, have a meeting on a Monday evening or Saturday morning, stop meeting with a turn to your neighbor, introduce yourself for five minutes or so, and then I remember Steve having one contribution, a controversial issue to get people there. And then, oh, we, then we go down further <laughs> and think, but just, just starting with the first couple, the first two, I mean, is, would that be something that would get people there more? Um, you know. I think the other thing we talked uh, about... I always really leave with ATV on class <laughs> three, they like... I don't know. Yeah. Well, I think that will so, the auction taxes. So, I think that, yeah. right. So that, so that actually came up in our conversation. And was why that is that there, there is, there is <laughs> research in, uh, that Frank Ryan um, and Susan Clark have done on what brings people out to town. Actually, mostly Frank Ryan's research that he did over the years at, at UVM. And um, the, the thing that they have found there's a, a whole variety of things. One is the bigger a town gets, the lower your percentage. That right, yeah. you, 
you get more people at the meeting, but not as many as the percentage increase. Right. Uh, so small towns seem to have a really good participation. But the thing that really brings people out is a controversial question that has consequences. Like that, so it's not just a hearing on this issue, but it's we're going to be voting on windmills on the ridge line, for example. That's going to bring people out. So that kind of issue gets participation. Uh, and so we were talking about it, and I was saying, yeah, this is, there's a research, and this is the biggest thing to bring people out, it's something yeah. that's controversial. I said, like example, ATVs. That would bring people out. And then Donnie's like, or oh, a local option tax. And I, yeah, it would bring people out. Yeah. Uh, On both sides, the question. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that, and yeah. that's what you want. That's you want yeah, yeah. both sides to show up, and you want yeah. civil discourse, which is what we can do in Vermont. In the town meeting, yeah. Is we can have civil discourse, and we can prove to the world that we can do this. It's really, yeah, that's yeah. my idealistic. Because we have a modern Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. You know, <laughs> see, I feel like one, another comment we made is that so much of Everything, I mean, because the way it is and get people to vote is so much of the stuff we vote on now is by Australian ballot, right? Right. So now people are only really coming to town meeting basically to vote on, you know, the, the, um, fun, the, the charitable stuff, right. yeah. basically. And, yeah. Um, it's not like we vote on the budget, no, you right. know. And even um, the charitable stuff we never vote down anymore. No. We used to. Like, I've never heard one. It was like one or two yeah. a year. We, we, we always reduced it. There was, there was one article for whatever reason. Someone had to change it. Yeah. Yeah. Just to feel like you changed yeah, it. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> was that Clarence? It was probably Clarence. <laughs> Not knowing which way to go. Yeah. Clarence yeah. Was, yeah. was one that I remember. But you have to make it worth your time to be there. Yeah. 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 I appreciate that. He would add 50 bucks to the uh, battered women's shelter and take 50 take bucks off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and, but it, it, we don't even do that anymore. Right. So, um, you, were you, gonna, you were going to look at the, whatever town it was that has the, they have a town meeting and, and they discuss a budget and they set a budget and the town meeting does, and then 30 days later they vote on the budget, right? Right. Am I right? Yes. What, what town was that? We, we were scrambled about Yeah, the town it, I was right, it was Shalott. It was Shalott, yeah. Um, so they have the budget completely ready for town meeting, basically, and then 30 days later... So, 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 so what towns that don't vote Australian ballot, what they can do is they can mend on the floor and they can adjust the budget on the floor. Okay. And they can say, oh, I think we should spend more money on sand this year, you know, or mm -hmm. we want to, you know, spend less on an excavator. You can get a better deal over in Aries. Um, mm -hmm. And we can't do that. We can either say yes or no. Mm -hmm. uh, what Shalat did was they got, and it turns out that to do this legally, they actually had to um, get a charter change through the legislature. Right. So I talked to Susan Clark who's the moderator in um, Middlesex, but she's like the guru on uh, town meeting. Um, and uh, she said they, they got a, um, they got a, a charter change, but it was a temporary change for like two or three years. Mm -hmm. And what they did was on town meeting day, they met and they had town meeting and they had presented the budget. And then they voted on the budget on the floor. And so they could amend mm -hmm. on the floor if they wanted to. And then 30 days later, they had an Australian ballot to approve the, the budget, budget as, 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 amended. On the, as amended on the floor at town meeting. Okay. Uh, it does add an extra day of voting. So that, you know, there's some, some cost there. Uh, she said that she, in her opinion, it wasn't well implemented, that the, they didn't do a good job of um, explaining it so that people didn't understand what was happening. Mm -hmm. And um, so it, it wasn't popular, but that the town of Jericho just voted to do this. And the, 
I don't know what's going to happen, but apparently the advice was, yeah, it's not 100% legal, but who's going to bring it to court? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Which is how the government operates. <laughs> right, right. So Jericho is voted next year to have a town meeting and then 30 days later have an Australian ballot to approve the budget as, as amended on the floor. Why 30 days? Why can't it be two weeks? Because that's the statute. Oh, for, for, town for, meeting. for, for a town, town meeting. meeting. Yeah, yeah. For, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. And, and they, the idea is that's going to bring out more people because they already have the option of... Because you, you'll actually be doing something. Right. Uh, actually be but do the, do the towns now sense. that are not using the Australian ballot, are they, they have a significant higher percentage of people participating? That's a good question. I believe the answer is yes, but I don't know that. They, I, they tend to be smaller communities also. So right. Got that percentage goes up. Right. But right. Waitsfield has their... Budget on the floor, don't they? I think Facebook does. And I'm pretty it's sure Facebook does. I don't know about Wasted, but I know Facebook does. Facebook does. Warren did too. And I think Warren does. We used to a lot of time ago, didn't we? Before us. Well, then there's the question that, about no, how that's changed. That. Well, and towns have gone back and forth. Um, they've gone to Australian ballot, and then years later, they've gone, to, gone back to floor votes in, in a few instances. Ours changed in, I think it was 91, 92. That makes sense. Um, I found, I, I have the uh, minutes of the meeting, and I don't really fully understand how this happened, but there was a, because uh, before I moved into town, there was a special town meeting in February to vote on whether or not they were going to change the to Australian ballot. And I don't know why they would have done it that way rather than waiting until town meeting day. John, do you remember that? No, I do not. Oh, I was thinking of all the people, John, you would be the one that would know. Um, I'm, I'm curious. So I'd like to ask some old timer, like, what was going on that you guys had a special town meeting in order to change town meeting and it actually it was less than 30 days right. before town before meeting and so it didn't so. take effect until the following year and so they couldn't wait until town meeting to do that why didn't they just wait until yeah, the go what year this was in i think it was 91. i mean i could find out but i have the i have the minutes yeah, yeah i was around i don't remember that particular thing yeah i remember before I, I went to actually went to the historical society about 10 years ago and went digging through some old uh, town reports to find when that happened and how it happened. And the reports, the minutes have no commentary. So it, I don't have any idea about what the meeting was like. Plus, I remember when it happened. Yeah. Do you remember how it happened? When you mentioned that there was a special meeting to decide about it. Wasn't the next till the following year. I can't remember the reasons, but I do remember this incident. I'd be interested to know as well if you can find out now. Oh. Well, that's sort of helpful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it I'll, did I'll, happen, I'll, so you have a backup. It did happen. <laughs> that's right. It did happen. Yeah. 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 Any town records on that are happened. gone because of Irene. I, don't don't know, right? mm -hmm. I mean, you would, if you were. Pessimistic, you would think that they did it in February because they wanted to go to Australia. Right. Yeah. And then, That's what I would think. Yeah. Well, less people I didn't voting. Want to say that. Less about, people um, voting uh, in a special election. And would would um, um, how about a voucher, like a thousand dollar voucher to your taxes if you're there for the meeting and you. There you go. There you go. That is that is it is. Well, that would get me. I think that could work. And we'll have to rent I, guns you could spend a lot more money doing a lot of other things and not get that. Sure. You know? But, or, or you can have it if you come, you're eligible for, for a discount on your taxes. Roll up, John. Yeah, yeah, roll John, up. Come on up. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't realize you were with this group, John. I thought you had something else um, to share with us. Or. 
No, I feel you're looking to so it was six forty five when I thought. No, we time. we got ahead of the They did the same thing to me. I, I was in the bathroom and I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> we thought you fell in the toilet. Oh, the <laughs> toilet seat. I forget about that seat. It's and we do hate to veer off the agenda, so I apologize for that, but I, the weather is so nice, so let's push on. But, um, so yeah, so I mean, I think even that, I mean, I, I was just thinking here, you know, probably you get a fair amount of people showing up. Um, you know, we're having a drawing at the end of the meeting, or you get your, you get your ticket when you come into the meeting, like a, a ticket to throw in the bucket, mm -hmm. and if you hear, you have to be here to, to win it. Uh, and then and then if you if your ticket gets then you get a thousand bucks off it or something. Some right, I don't know if you come up with that, but you get it, um some sort of door price. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, charge your tax. Yeah, 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 we I mean, didn't put that on the list. I, like no, no, I, 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 I was thinking that could work. Yeah. You know, uh, fifty or hundred bucks ain't gonna make a difference, but a thousand bucks to and if you really want to get the participation out to get the new people, the young people, the people new. That is real money. That is going to motivate people, and it might be money well invested because if you could get one or two volunteers out of those people, this right. is what goes on. You know, that would allow yeah. Don or me or whoever to to right. move on. That's a really good point because yeah, you can at the meeting that customer service fair kind yeah. of thing. And yeah, the community well, service. Lots of people end up signing up for doing things at the meeting. Yeah, right, and especially if you have a meeting like that, that's fairly large and there's a lot of participation and we don't we don't stop there you know there was an idea here a better social scene with food well, it's potluck or we have johnny's chef here who wins all the contests you know the, the cooking contest he comes up with something um uh, I, I think one point to, to your point though and to get more people to attend i, I think we should look at um Maybe not the meeting. I know it's been typically Tuesday for, since the beginning of time or whatever, but maybe we should look at it being a different in, in an evening or on a Saturday or something like that. Um, and I, because I think people just have their jobs and they have just so many other things that they can't make it to town meeting, you know, at that, that time I mean, of the day. I was just going to say the same thing as Don. I think we should be respectful of people's situations. You know, offering a door prize that people can't come. They have a job. They, you know, they're bound. And to that end, maybe we should be looking to do the meeting at a different time when people are free to come in an evening or a Saturday. However, I think other towns have tried this, and I'd love to see the results because I, right. still, I still think you'd be looking for people to come to the meeting. Yeah. I don't think it's to do with they've got jobs. I almost think you'd be worse off having it on a Saturday. <laughs> like, yeah. But look at you know. the demographic. Uh, who comes to the meetings? Very few young people. Right. We had right. more young people this year and than us. We, we did. Yeah. yeah. I think, think that was the education people. thing because they were. Yeah. yeah. No, I think. Well, yeah. I, I, the whole um, timeline. And I think there is some data on that. I, I know. There is data on that, yeah. On Saturdays and times. Yeah. I don't think it made a lot of difference. It, it changes the demographic, though. Right. It changes who comes. Right. 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 Like Maybe it changes, changes who comes, not how many people right. necessarily right. The demographic we want, the people who work We're working, who have jobs, who... Yeah, who, yeah. Who, <laughs> right. Not the slackers. Like <laughs> how about the old folks? <laughs> we like yeah. it with, we, we like it with the old folks. Because it's still the only ones that have jobs. I'm still kicking butt, but yeah. 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 And Sasha. And look at the, the demographic, look at the age of the people who are sitting there. I've done that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. This average age is 65. And I think the same goes for all the other counties. Yeah. No. I. No. I think it'll be something to maybe that Saturday, and if there's uh, some kind of a library or someone has some kid activities going on, we get oh, that yeah. thing going. Child care. Yeah. yeah. Um, and child care. And then there. there's a social yeah. scene. There's a door prize. I mean, I don't. I, what else we could do? I don't think Saturday is good. Huh. People aren't going to give up a Saturday. Maybe yeah, yeah. I, no, I, I agree. Think, I think Monday night is more yeah. likely to be I was thinking Monday productive. Night. Yeah, because yeah. um, people got that. That's already sort of in the mindset. And, and, right. And, and and it actually would also be combining then the pre-town meeting because um, now that right we're doing that Monday night anyway. Now that we have uh, 
we we could do if we did town meeting and then the Australian ballot afterwards. That would that would I believe you. Want, I think you know the law better than I do on that. No. Um, yeah, but I don't. I don't know I think if we want to. But it, certainly for this next meeting, we wouldn't be able to jump to the Australian ballot thirty days. No, no, we can't. You need to vote on that anyway. Yeah, so that's a public sure. question. Yeah. And public questions, we do on the floor. So we could put that something like that as a public question at this year's. Right, meeting. so that would be a good thing to br another thing to bring, bring there up to that. Yeah. Right. Um, that might bring people to the meeting. I think that would, and a bunch of these, or a couple of these other ones, from the ATV to the, uh, the Airbnb tax, the one percent. But that's something we, we don't have to decide certainly tonight. I think, but I think the, those. I are, think the thing at the bottom of the list is going to bring people there. <laughs> Sasha, did you get on this thing or what? She typed this up for you? I, I thought it was. That's not me. I thought it was you. Well, when I sent the email to everybody, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to stay on there, but when I sent the people to get the blood flowing, we're going to have like MMA. Yeah, if back MMA up, matches. I mean, if Becca Belinda will say it after that hearing, right? Did yeah. you ever read that article that she spoke out of? Come to town meeting. That's it. <laughs> It'll need the I mean, potluck then too. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. have the, the gummies. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did like it on 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 there, sorry. There is a good idea there as far as like new people coming into town. If you guys would put together like a welcoming package. Yeah. Yeah. A nice yeah. letter. We could certainly mail it out to new families that are moving in. Right. That's we know that if, if they if they bought. But yeah. Is, can we figure Not it out? Not the renting part, but yeah. definitely new okay. people home. Right. But you guys also know if people are like registered to vote, right? If they're new? If, they're new. if they actually come in, we if they ask them to get registered to vote. So right, they would have to register. Yeah. But if they, if somebody is new, even if they register through the DMV, DMV you guys, you guys get know. Out. Yeah, yeah. They, they add, get added to roles or whatever. Okay. So we can find out anybody who's new. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think another yeah. way to touch base with them is actually right through the school. Because again, those are the people yeah. that we want. Yeah. So write a letter and have it sent out, hard copy to the school. It's not like we, we need the post or anything like that. We can get all the parents to the So every parent they have gets a newsletter. We could use yeah. as a newsletter. Right. I, think, I think the newsletter, that's a good idea. Yeah. Add it to the newsletter and, or add it as an addendum to the newsletter so it's like a, an yeah, official yeah. invitation yeah. or something. Right. But I like your idea also of the welcome package. Doesn't mm -hmm. need to be just about town meeting. Like these are other resources. This is who you call yeah. when your dog yeah. runs off the leash and your front porch is not right now. And you know those kinds of things. And we could tell about Morefest. Well, yeah, and, and, and the library and all that. And the yeah. library. Yeah. And the link, the link to our website. <laughs> the yeah. Matter of Valley um, Rec. Yeah. District. Yeah. Exactly. It sounds like we've got a, That's a I think we got to start yeah, here. Start, start, you know? Yeah. But is there, is there some feeling that maybe we, I mean, I, I don't know if we'll get it together by for the next meeting in March, but I mean, to be thinking about actually having the meeting on Monday night? I don't know, I think so. And I think if we're going to do it, we'll do this. Why would Try it this yeah. year. Yeah. 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 That's no up to the select board, right? You guys yeah. determine yeah. where, where and when the meeting is. Right. Right, we do that usually in January because we need to have it for the, right, for the, the town report. Right. And, and report. people can still vote. They can still be voting for all the way through Tuesday, right? The, yeah. the auction yeah. amount will still be on yeah. Tuesday. I think yeah. that has to be. I think that has yeah. to be. Yeah. Unless we change it, we get it changed. Through. That's the Board of Civil Authority, but, but I don't think we can change it. I think it has right. to be. No, no, for this time I agree. I'm just talking yeah. about uh, subsequent years. Yeah. Um, the one conflict. Yeah, I don't know how big a conflict it is, but the, is that the Harwood District does their annual oh, meeting gosh. on Monday nights, on the Monday night before town meeting. Oh, okay. um, and some people go to the Harwood meeting and then race over to our meeting. To the budget, so they, they want it. To the they want meeting. the budget info, right? Right. And the school um, budget. So then I used to do that. I used to go to that meeting and then run over to the pre-town meeting. It starts at 6 there, me? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, right. Our meeting goes at 7, so they yeah. feel like it's... Yeah. Yeah. I think how many... No, and then well, if, you think, if you think we don't do much, go to that meeting. Right. At least they have their meeting the week before during, during spring break. 
Right. And we, that's, a, that's a great idea. We would have to know that it's at 6 o'clock. No late because it's going to be a... No or a lengthy like meeting. Oh, uh, you know, our meeting is four hours long. Yeah, no, it would be. This and year I, we were about three and a half, I think. Well, actually, it was just three. We had to finish right at noon, didn't we? Uh, so it was three hours this year. But it's been four the past seven years before that. Right. And, we, uh, and we've always had... In fact, you only made 45 minutes. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm just You're casting yeah, aspersions on me. No, I'm not at all. I'd much rather, but that's what Jerry would do sometimes. Like, what did you notice me? So, <laughs> um, sometimes that's how it is here, too. <laughs> He's young, but not tonight. Just a <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you were going fast, then we started talking about this. Yes, I was like, yeah. yeah. Bring well, us. No, I think we've got. Some ideas. Some ideas and we need to follow through and, and yeah. not just talk about this and, and think it's a good idea. So um and maybe if, if you you all have other ideas let um and Sasha know or so who's um somebody. who's the head of this little committee here? <laughs> it, 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 we it was just called it was just a coffee. The first thing was uh, the coffee committee. Right, that's Actually, the first oh, meeting was on the double chair at uh, at Mad River. Right. You know, I got stuck on this guy in the chair. He started, started talking, talking about, about town meeting. You didn't put the bar up and just do one of these. I just thought I thought about it. <laughs> so, 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 Mr. Mr. Chair, I'm going to jump on this. I'm going to make a commitment with these guys. I need deadlines. That's what uh, Duke Ellington says. I don't need inspiration. I need deadlines. Oh. So, so may, maybe we should have another uh, on the agenda for X time to revisit this to figure out next steps. Okay. You know, or we'll get together Did for another coffee. <laughs> I let Johnny know that, you know, oh no, he just showed Did up. We, invite, we didn't invite him though. No, we didn't. Yeah. He was here for something else. Karen told me to, to stay. <laughs> Asked me to stay, maybe she, she regrets it. So why, yeah, why don't we, um, we look at the schedule. I want to make sure I'm here for that. And I just, I yeah. got some well, coming up. But we'll, uh, Maybe in the fall. Yeah, yeah. in September yeah. or something. Well, September. so I guess the question is, do you want us to meet and discuss and talk about yeah. the anything form, that we've talked around here? The form of a welcome package. And, uh, I think the form of welcome package would be good. Whatever, yeah. I'll and right if you could get some data on the days of the work, I uh, week that Johnny was mentioning. Um, we had Saturdays. I think Professor Brian would probably have. I think that's where I read it. it Susan, um, and yeah, I I, Susan that's... Clark offered, if we do meet as a little group, she offered to come join us. Yeah. She wrote the book, All Those in Favor, about um, town meeting. Uh, you know, it has some of that data in it, which yeah. they seem to right. be best. It's you know, a few years ago now. Right. I think that would be awesome. I think we need to keep yeah, this going. Yeah, yeah, you, get should, some. you should be ready for the stir if you try and change the day of the meeting. Well, that's great. That's the controversy. That 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 well, maybe that's what we want. That's what good. we want. Yeah. That, that'll get people to come to the maybe meeting. Old <laughs> <changed. laughs> oh, fun. What? Yeah. It's always been on the same thing. Well, don't mock the old people there, John. I do like having it on Tuesday, but I would much rather have participation. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I can't, I mean, I honestly can't people, can't see people stay until 10 o'clock on a Monday night. I mean, no. No, and that when I was a kid in real estate. Like, are you shitting me? Uh, that was that just, what happened is people, people would, people would leave. Yeah. yeah. People would get up and leave because it would right. be like, you know, 9 o'clock. It's, it's like, like get everybody by 8 o'clock because nobody's going to be there. Yeah. So, no, right, well, we, so. we'll, that's Those are the type of things that yeah. Right. This is what that, this meeting will become that if we keep talking. Right, 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 right so. yeah. Okay. Tom would say, I think yes. we have a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> chop, chop, folks. I know the one so I really appreciate the time you yeah. put I mean, together maybe for this. Maybe it starts at 5. 5.30 or something like that. Yeah. Right. We yeah. can talk about that. Tom, I've got a couple things. Okay. I should think there might be some things that could be um, done if, for the next town meeting. Um, yeah. I like the idea of uh, having a, a drawing, and I should think that that we would need to uh, have a vote or anything on that. Should think we could just do that. You can do it pretty much what we want, I think. 
guess as long as, as, long as, it's under 5, as, long as the town's attorney says it's okay, I mean, can you bribe people? No, we can do it under 5,000. It's bribery, is it, to have people come to vote? And Board of the Beaver, you guys can make the decisions. We may have, there's, there's you know, you drawings and all sorts of things. Go quietly right. for the thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know, uh, I just, we'll work that one out. Yeah. yeah. So is there something else? Yeah, so for, for now, uh, in any discussion, put the emphasis on things that could start with the next town meeting. Right. It's a good idea. So in your next meeting, there can be proposals to us. And then actually maybe you should have two columns. One, this is what we can do this, this now meeting, and, and then later. This is yeah. what we could discuss at the town meeting to do in the future meetings. Right. Yep. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. So that sounds one. good. Looks like we have four. One, two, three, four, five people in our committee. I didn't think he said he was good, but sure, you want to just get a coffee. He drinks coffee. Yeah. Do no, it. he doesn't drink coffee, but he'll hang out at Red Hen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, one, one more thing that we have to take a look at is the $5,000 uh, maximum oh, yeah. that you're going to have wine item. Yeah, we could change that. You voted on that. I mean, that's really uh, yeah. blow. I mean, yeah. We did that, started that many years ago, so I should think that that should be increased at least to 10000 It's like the nickel deposit on the uh, soda can. Yeah. Um, we voted about 10 years ago on raising that to 15,000 and voted, it soundly defeated the idea of increasing it to 15,000. Yeah, it was about 10, probably not quite, yet. yeah, about 10 years ago. Hmm. Dave Van Dusen put it on. Uh -huh. But we got, we, we had some luck with it, with the, uh, with the reserve fund. This getting a to increase yeah. that because it was so low. I think people would be open to Well, that. they're still talking about changing it so that we can vote on the floor, yeah. a higher threshold. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I think people understand Just that. Just you know, inflation factor, too. That yeah. 10,000 is, you know, and also years, 5,000. Again, that will bring maybe more more at stake. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and it, it doesn't pass, it doesn't pass. It doesn't pass, it doesn't pass, it doesn't change. Yeah. No, yeah. good, no, good comments, good. John. Thank yeah. you. And that would bring people That's out. Good idea. You know, That's an issue that would might bring people out. All right, we have got a lot of people yeah. talking in one seat. Thank you for your time. All right. Excellent. Thank you, guys, ladies, Karen, Johnny, mm -hmm. Steve. Thank you. John. Thanks for what you're doing with this. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody need yeah. a, anybody need yeah. a copy of this? Yeah. A, um, Steve or Karen, whoever produces, or was Don, could you send that to Sasha so John could get a copy and also send it out to, uh, oh, yeah, I'll, sure. I'll send you so yeah, that we'll Karen updated it a little yeah. from what I Yeah, she had that thing about the, uh, the gummies, and the gummies, yeah. I, I added a couple of things. No, she added a few things in here, which is fine. You know. She can do that. Anytime you all right, so let's go ahead and move on. We have the Hazard Mitigation Grant with uh, Howland and Becky. Guys, why don't you come on up to the table? Bring chairs. You Thank may bring you. chairs or not. I hope you would. You know, fill out your survey. Okay. Did you do the survey already? Yeah. Well, there's copies. All right. Hey, folks, tonight. Beautiful day. Is it nice out there? Okay. Good, things going good, which is how it's like. Capital City uh, Farmers Market. I was lucky to have it. Nice. Um, All right, so we have um, the, uh, the Browns in here tonight. Um, you guys, I hope you had the opportunity of talking to the board here uh, to review the email that Sasha had sent out earlier uh, in the week, and it was just um, talking about the hazard mitigation, hazard mitigation grants and how they work, and there was a link there. Um, so if you haven't, as a board, it would be nice to just go and get yourself familiar with them. Um, you guys are participating in the, the grant. Why don't you go ahead and share with us, Howland, what, uh, your, a little bit about your project, or Becky, whoever wants to speak. Or... Well, I'll, I'll start, and she can yeah. jump in. Um, just to back up, I don't know how many of you know, but 
we sort of have reached the point where we decided we can't live in the village under threat of flood indefinitely the way it is. And I think we sort of had concerns after Irene, but you know, I think in the years following, there weren't too many close calls. And just last year, there were two. We sort of found ourselves in this sort of panic mode of bringing things upstairs and kind of going to triage and trying to find emergency housing, moving our cars to higher ground. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I can certainly see how that would. I mean, just me and I lose a driveway and when it starts raining like it did the other night, I'm like, holy crap, you know, so I can't imagine what yeah. folks who have been flooded out yeah. go through. So yes. you have my, um, things would be empathy, or there. What's your I don't understand. 1018. 1018. Yeah. Um, so uh, together we, this spring, we just sort of decided it's time, um, and we made a decision we're going to try to lift the house. Um, and this was after, you know, considering other properties and other places, some also at flood risk, um, but not really finding, you know, the, there are so many things that we love about our house, including its location. Yeah. And, uh, you have a beautiful house, and yeah, I've you. been inside, and yeah. I think it was actually right after the flood, so it was even flooded, it was a beautiful <laughs> house. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, the market, the housing market is really tight, values are really high. And in addition to that, we just weren't finding. Yeah. We weren't finding. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys were um, working, I'm supposing, with architects to, to do this or mm -hmm. figure out your plan or what you're doing. Um, we have an infantry of subcontractors. I, 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 yeah, well, that's what you do, basically, right? You know, uh, I know the people. I know, <laughs> I know a guy. Uh, yeah. If you have a guy, that's all you really need. I, I need a bunch of guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so we have the team in place. We have design underway. Uh, the plan is gone to the DRB for them to review in July. So we're we're moving pretty fast at this point. Um, we're racing the next flood essentially. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah. And, you know, well, it has made a difference. The fixing of the bridge and widening the bridge has made a difference as far as the flow of the Mad River through the town. Right. I, you know, so. I mean, that's what, you know, because of December 18th, that's, we didn't really flood, the town didn't flood with that one. Our, you know, other places flooded, our road flooded, but yeah. the neighbors, town. Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah. Which side? Oh, uh, Frank's side. What? The Frank's side. The basement. Across the street. Oh, across the street, yeah, that, well, they did, you're right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so no, how this. I, I agree, so at least the bridge is yeah. better. Things are better, but still, there's, yeah, there's still yeah. So how this works, um, and I'm not an expert at it, but we have done it once before. Um, with the, um, uh, wax, how's that pronounced? Wexels. Wexels. I was going to say the Wexlers, but it's the Wexels mm -hmm. up on the hill. Uh, and, um, um, so the, the town, and this is more, I think you probably know more than uh, probably a lot, you've probably been looking at it quite a bit, but the town submits uh, a FEMA mitigate. The, the town submits the FEMA mitigation grant for, uh, in this case, it would be the Browns. Um, okay. And our um, Cheryl Lynn, who does the grants, would be responsible for that. Um, she really administers the grant. It's, it's a town grant. Okay. It's to the benefit to the Browns. Mm -hmm. um, we, in fact, the town pays all bills, um, and then we are reimbursed through the grant process. That's really how it works. That's kind of the simple <laughs> way, of, but I'm just trying to get everyone so they understand what we're going to be talking or what we're voting on this evening. Um, Can I interrupt for one second? You may, yep. You said the town submits the FEMA mitigation grant. Did, is that the same thing as the town administers the FEMA? Yeah, grant? that's okay. okay. Yeah, I okay. made up the model and those type of things, yeah. whether it's administered or, or completes. Yeah. Um, either way, we're, we will complete and finish the, the grant um, mm -hmm. with your help and your participation. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, and you guys, I think it will, the last time it, 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 we just actually, I think, closed it. It, when it goes, it's not going to be anything that happens. I mean, you'll get your place done and raised and it'll be three or four years before everything, we finally get reimbursed or it, that's what happened in the past. Mm -hmm. And that's just the way mm -hmm. FEMA works. Mm -hmm. uh, but my ask uh, to you folks is just, if you can do everything 
that comes along this year only and asks, and that, not you, and just so it can make her job as easy as possible. Okay. Just keep it moving. Uh, just keep it moving. Yeah. Um, and she's really good at that stuff. She's done enough now that yeah. she knows and she can pass it on. And, mm -hmm. and you guys are articulate and you're, you've got, it sounds like your ducks in a row already. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, I think it'll be a, a fairly seamless process. Or it's not going to be seamless, but it'll go as smooth as it, it can. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be some hiccups, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think we got down. So the, the question is to the rest of the board, um, do we want to go ahead and do that, and I would highly recommend that we do. Um, one, we have precedent that we do it. Two, we have uh, people who have worked with us closely on all sorts of projects. You know, whether it's this mitigation, you know, the, the things that we've done, uh, Helen and Becky have always been there to uh, to say yes, and you know, we dot our T's, have to cross our, uh, dot our I's, cross our T's, um, what we'll ask them to do as well just to make sure everything is done to the way it needs to be done, but I can't think of a better um, couple to, to support in this. What do you think, Don? Uh, I agree. I, I also, don't we have, uh, we have some other folks in town? Yeah, there's one other person that we will talk about later, yeah. um, okay. next. But I would I mean, like it to it can't be done uh, concurrently, both. I, I think it's done. And, okay. I, I mean, it's very similar to the same thing. We'll have the, the, you probably hear the same thing come out of my mouth, you yeah. know, basically. But I just think it's easier to separate. That way it's in the meeting minutes, and if there's any questions. Uh, and, the other, and, and sometimes FEMA will ask for this <laughs> documentation, right. so it's easier that it's no, set up. And, up and, yeah. Yeah. and the other pro FEMA program is the buyout program is a different Different animal. Different right. animal. This yeah. is just a, yeah. Right. And that's right. actually prevent. Yeah, this is mitigation. This is mitigation. Yeah, yeah, so the one existing yeah. structure, yeah. basically, versus. And actually, the state is doing most of that work, which yeah. we're yeah. Yeah. thankful for. Um, mm -hmm. So I would move that we um, support the Browns in the um, mitigation of the, the home. Um, and we'll work the process, the, the FEMA process. And again, just. Um, Certainly, their participation, but um, that's my, uh, that's my uh, proposal. Okay. Is there a second? Oh, was that a motion? Oh, John, did you have a question? Can you have a more detailed oh, I'll motion? second that. Was that was my motion? Um, I don't know. If, Can you put in their address and stuff? You know where we're mitigating? Sure. Into the meeting notes. Just to... Yep. Do you guys have? I don't have your. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they're going to move and mitigate somewhere else, but. Yeah, ten eighteen. Ten eighteen. I, I don't know any more details. Yeah, there's just concrete. All right, so I'm going to let me okay. just start this motion. I move. No, I was just wondering how. It, Who's it, huh? but, Then you can. We'll get more questions. Yeah. Uh, so let's move moves on. Um, so I'd move to um, support the Browns for the, the hazard mitigation on Route uh, Ten A or House Ten Eighteen on Route One Hundred B in Moortown. The home of Howland and Becky Brown. Uh, and my, my name is actually not Becky Brown. Oh, I'm sorry, Becky. Uh, Claire. <laughs> Claire. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm, I mean, if it's going. In the yeah. Place, no. No. no <laughs> absolutely. Thank you for the corrections. I know. I am going to correct myself, but I just some some things that it's not my strong points. Um, the Browns and uh, Claire. So, um, either way, that's uh, the motion. Is there a second? Second. Second. All right. We got a couple seconds. All in favor, vote aye. 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 So there you go. So we're, I would, um, Sherilyn will see the minutes. We, we already, I've already talked to her about it. Um, and I think she will get together with you guys as soon as it's feasible for both of you, which I would imagine would be fairly soon. <laughs> and you can put a plan together, um, if that works. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, is there, what, what is the, the grant. What is the value of the grant? I really don't know. That's part of the process. That's part of the that's process. That's part of the process. It, it is. Yeah. Figure out what the you have to do a cost. Yeah. Estimate. Yeah. You get your cost. This is what they say they'll cover. I think the, the question. The question is, what is the percentage they pay, or if there's any. Yeah. Um, out of pocket. Out of pocket right, expenses, yeah. and I believe it's a very low match if there's any at yeah. all. I think yeah. you'll find it's almost. I, I, I should say, but. 
when we were working with the Marches. You mean their match? Their match. Oh, right. yeah. The town is, oh, okay, the yeah. Town is not out of anything. No. Everything okay. in the I thought you meant the other way around. <laughs> I was like, yeah. 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 That, the t that they would be responsible for it. I don't believe it. I think it might be zero. I mean, yeah. it's, that's what these are. Mm -hmm. uh, but don't yeah. hold me to that. Okay. It's whatever FEMA comes up with. Yeah. But oh. Anything else. It'll be yeah. significant, though, because yeah. it was. Do you remember the checks that went out of here? I mean, they were huge. So it was, yeah. it wasn't chump change that you get. It's not you get a few grand. It's yeah, yeah well, it's, not gonna, it's gonna cost some money to yeah. fix it. For sure. yeah. Yeah. And it's, I mean, you're, you're solving potentially solving a problem. Well, I mean, you know, we feel like it's also like the ethical choice, right? Yeah. Like, it, say, say we had found the perfect place and we just moved, you know? Yeah. Sometime we'll be driving by our old house with the new inhabitant stuff all out on the front yard. Yeah, our exactly. Stuff. You, want, you right. wouldn't want that. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't feel good about that, certainly. Right. You know? right. We don't want that no. for anybody else. Yeah. And, you know, if our daughter decides to live in our house after we're gone, then, yeah. you know, then she would live under the same risk, too. Yeah. So we just feel like if the house is going to yeah. stand in the village, which I think it's a nice piece in the yeah. village, you know, yeah. 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 village history, yeah. then, you know, let's. But, let's hey, you guys are like it. real stewards of the land, really, if, I, you know. Or the house, or that the property, and, and I think yeah, so. You're perfect people to, yeah, to actually to take support. this project yeah. because, yeah. I mean, with your skills as a carpenter, um, yeah. and I, I mean, I've just seen some of the stuff you've done. Yeah, it's the town's it's, keeping valuable residents. So. Yeah, it would get good residents, yeah. and uh, you know, we all have to reappraise that thing too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any sense of what it's gonna, what it looks like? Uh, is it concrete or just a lot of land? We're, we're, trying to, we're trying to evaluate the way to, to do it. not yeah. let it look too tall. Right. Without Yeah. Without spending a portion. Right. It's a short version. It's, you know, yeah, no, it's a, it's a design challenge for sure. Yes. Yeah. Like Sandra and Clayton did at a buyer house on Herringbrook, and theirs came out beautiful, but it, it was a more of a log design, so it was uh, a little more those are, folks, those are the folks that we did. Mitigation grant. Yeah, I believe probably Sandy the last one. Yeah, and, yeah, Clayton. Clayton Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it came out beautiful. And, you, know, nice. you don't even notice the height when you look really. Yeah. Right, and I mean, you know, Lowe and Tom. Lowe did, yeah. Yeah. Raised their house, and yeah. I remember yeah. for a while, I was just like, wow, that's so different. And now, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. the trees and the bushes are coming in, you know, really. Drive so many huge buy so many huge houses now anyway. It's like you know, this is gonna fit. And they and watch this might be able to give you some uh, yeah. hints or tips from totally the homeowner's smart. perspective of what yeah. to expect. Right. You know, right. in, in situation. They're very, very nice people. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. He's a nurse at the hospital. He I works for the school system. Oh, so now, yeah. the school system. Ever since COVID, oh. I think he's transitioned over the school system. Which yeah. is I'm not sure what his wife does. She's a teacher. She's a teacher, yeah. So they're very nice people, and I'm sure you can get some uh, help from them because they've gone through the same thing and know yeah. what's something that would be yeah. helpful. Great. All right. Thank Great. You. Cheers. Thank you. Have a nice night. Yeah. Yep. Thanks for coming in. Yep. We will be on you. All right. So we have, um, let's go ahead and move on, and Don, to your. Um, comments there. I'm sorry we had to uh, separate them out. Mm -hmm. But we have uh, requests. Did you have nothing else? Okay. Uh, from Ray Washburn. And I'll read the, the note. Uh, good afternoon. I am hereby requesting the town of Moortown complete a FEMA mitigation grant application to raise my house at 1789 Jonesbrook Road, um, Moortown, eight feet above the current elevation. Please advise what you need to me for me to complete the process. So again, um, salt of the earth person, someone who uh, has done more for the town than a lot of people. Um, and we're very lucky to have his expertise. We are um, certainly um, something that I would believe that we should go ahead and, and move and do. Uh, other than that, nothing different from what we just discussed as far as the expectations that they work with Cheryl Lynn, our key. He and Cookie, um, but I think we should go ahead and do the same thing, right? Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So uh, my motion is uh, to do the Moortown uh, Fema mitigation grant at uh, 1789 Jonesbrook Road, Moortown. 
for Ray Washburn III and his uh, wife, Cookie. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Second. We got uh, a couple of those again. Thank you, gentlemen. And all in favor, vote aye. Aye. All right. And all right. we can, uh, Sasha, let again Ray know, and he can meet with Sherilyn, and they can get that put together. And so let's go ahead and back to reports. You were going through, or how did you want this? Um, I think I gave you everything I needed except for, Huma has been asking about the forms that you can be done for the house communication buyouts. Um, it's a lot to go through. I don't know if you want to go through them before you sign them. Is that what FEMA stuff you should do? Yeah. Like, yeah. So I'm going to come in tomorrow morning. Okay. Um, it's all that stuff? Yes. For each property that's been Oh, it's all for each property. I thought it was different how documents. Many, how many do we have total now? It's five or six, I guess. Oof. Ten Nine, and then ten. It's, uh, two more pending. And these are all along the Route 2 car? Yes. Uh, one of them is in the village, actually. Sitka Lane. Oh. Sitka Lane. Sitka Lane. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was in Irene. Oh. And then we have. Um, really? Right there? I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah there was that one. That's good. Then we have the Shapers at. Uh, That's because all that stuff two. backed up on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think, personally, I don't think that one is really that. I mean, it would be just kind of a, too bad that that would be uh, destroyed and not used. Yeah, uh, Larry Westover, Lauren Route 2, Thomas Douglas, another Thomas Douglas, another Thomas Douglas. So it looks like the Douglases are looking to get out. That's uh, a shame. He's going to move their properties over there. There's five there. And Lawn Champs, they're the ones across yeah, the road. Across the road from them. And, and then the noises, uh, they have two properties. And then there's one in between the noises. There's one where they live in Pennsylvania. Right. Oh, and right. Yeah. Of their oh, they yeah. zoomed in. They're the one yeah. that zoomed in. They, zoomed they have in. a requested. So, and then. <coughs> Yeah. I just, where are those folks going to go? Well, people in Pennsylvania are living out of state. No, no, I mean, no, I don't mean them, but our neighbors there will be in one town for a long time. Yeah. You know? No, it's too bad, uh, but I don't know. That's why, I mean, that's why doing these mitigation grants is important to do. Because yeah, of, yeah. Um, um, otherwise, like I said, this is the other option, yeah. you know, lost revenue and losing, you know, valuable residents. Yeah. So if you guys want to take with this, I'm going to come in tomorrow morning and, and read one of these and just make sure it's all focused and sign off on it. So someone wants to take a look uh, uh, prior to that. And, uh, you know, I'm fine. I certainly trust you on this. I also have it's a pretty race. cut and dry. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, so, so, yeah I think we'll want to sell my house and get everything I get for it. It seems pretty straightforward. Right? Ray sent an email to um, Wendell Electric submitted, I believe it's for the Yes, it's for the parking lot, all the electric. Yeah. And yeah, so they reviewed the email. proposal and yeah. he recommends that Wendell Electric be used for the electrical work on the parking lot project. Um, he'd like the select board to accept and sign their proposal. All right, so let me just read the right. The following is that, is that from Ray? Yes. The letter? Okay. Yeah, and this is from uh, CE Wendell Electric. Okay. Um, they're from. Uh, the Granger Road and Barry Vermont. Oh, um, yeah. I've, I've, I've seen their trucks around lately. They've been doing a lot of work around Montpelier, I think. <coughs> so, uh, the following bid is for the Moortown Elementary School, Elementary School parking lot lighting project at 79 School Street in Moortown. We will use the existing lighting circuit to power new power lights. Uh, Moortown Park and Ride ST Proposition 241, one pole and base, 6800 and $61, and then the Moortown Office and School Parking Lot, three poles and bases, 20583 
bid total is $27,444. Uh, items include four precast pull bases, two 16-foot single-headed LED pull lights, two 16-foot double-headed LED pull lights, conduit and wire to power the pull lights, electrical labor and electrical permit. So, soup to nuts, everything uh, does not include the excavating or backfilling, and that's something that the crew is doing. The crew is doing it. Um, so I would move to accept this proposal from C.E. Wendell for $27,444 at the recommendation of our um, uh, project uh, coordinator, Ray. Uh, is there a second? Second. Okay, we've got a second. Any other questions on the proposal? Do we, we don't need three bids on this one? Um, or I think if you read his for, email, he sent out, and this is what he okay. did. And actually, they made the other ones. Yeah. I think this was the proposal. This is what he submitted for us to um, okay. his recommendation. Um, all in favor, vote aye. 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 All right, Sasha, there we go. And then, Sean, you did this um, put in the minutes for financial management questionnaire, towns and cities. Um, she needs time to sign it and just that it's been done and put into the minutes for it. And what is this? Something that you do. Go to the state. Mm -hmm. Yes. The of towns and cities, probably for our insurance. Um, oh, it's League of Cities. League, League of Cities and Towns. It's a questionnaire, and so they just we need to uh, certify that it um, was done by Cheryl, and, and she okay. signed off that she did it. So okay. I will sign off on this. Sounds good. And if anyone needs to, but I would move that we accept the financial management questionnaire that Cheryl did. Second. Second. All in favor, would I? Aye. Aye. If anyone Aye. Wants to take a read on that. Sasha, anything else? That's it. Warrants and permits. Yes. Well, while we're on a Cheryl Lynn item, yep. okay, at the last at last week's meeting, you know, she gave us a little update on you know um, some tax stuff in the bank and going to switching banks. Yeah, yep. so sorry, the notes, but we had one item that we de deferred to this meeting. Oh, okay. And that's um, Cheryl Lynn brought up the expenses of the 2018 truck. She reminded the SP that there is 30K in the maintenance reserve fund for that purpose. Oh. They will be discussed at the next meeting. Because, you know, uh, she was looking to see how we were going to pay for that. Because there's been a. And that's the bill yeah. for around 18000 right? Yeah. For the end. Yeah. And so we've got that. That was originally an asked for 23 and then they right. accepted right. by an email <clears throat> put together. Yes. The 16, now we're going to pay the. Out of the 30. Yeah, I think that's probably so, out of the maintenance reserve. I mean, that's right, what that's yeah. for. Well, so she wanted to get approval from the board. Yeah, yeah she just wanted to defer it to me. No, I think that's a good idea. Because we sure. didn't, we all, it was right. Yeah, a lot of movement around. All right. All right, I would move that we um, pay that bill to, is it? Uh, oh, allegiance. Allegiance or allegiance? Alliance. alliance or allegiance. It's allegiance, right? Yeah, okay. uh, the bill for the leaders to uh, the 2018 um, engine for the uh, International. It would be coming out of the uh, maintenance reserve fund. So there's seconds. John seconds. Uh, any other discussion on that? All in favor, vote aye. 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 And that was 16,000. Uh, a little over 17. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. I remember saying it. Yeah. Is that it, Sasha? Yes. All right. Don, why don't we start with you tonight? What do you got? Well, I have an old note. I, I think, Sasha, you sent us an email. What was the, the healthcare community meetings or something? What was that? Do you remember? I don't know. Something that we... Uh, I'll, I'll have to go back and find okay. it. I thought maybe. Okay. Um, did we ever... Do we know any status of what happened with Fox Farm? Have we, is there anything to need to replace the culvert? I mean, speaking of, you know, we have had, uh, you know. Uh, Mitigation and all that stuff. Yeah. No, I, you know what, I don't, but, you know, tomorrow, like I said, I got some time, I'm going to be around here, I'll take a ride up. And Ray will be here, uh, Martin will be around, so one of them can go with me and kind of verify Perfect. if there's change okay. or not. Right. They should know. 
Um, and, and we haven't still heard anything about what with Mr. Piazza. So today I followed up on that. I called uh, Ron to see if there was any news. Steve has seemed to abandon ship. He's been trying to, that was the guy that was going to help yeah. out. So that didn't go anywhere. So I would. Well, this was the, the state right. said we could find somewhere. Right. So yeah. I have authorized Ron, and I told him I'd discuss it with you guys tonight. But his assistant um, authorized her to find someone to do that inspection. We need, we need to move forward with this. I, and I told him we really need to cut bait and do it, or but we really need to do something. And I don't think cutting bait's the way to do it. So um, he assured me that he would find us a contractor to come in and inspect that, and then we can move forward. Okay. Inspect to verify Vice. what's still wrong, right. and that hasn't been done? Right, that hasn't been done, or the stuff that was done wasn't done properly. Okay. Um, and then we can move on, because I said, we gotta at least, you know, quite frankly, seek money, do something. Um, it just needs to move. And Is I, the state still finding them? Yeah, that's, so that's yeah. been going, and that's, that's what I talked to him yeah. about, and he said, There's, let's go after that money. I mean, let's do something. And you know, it's five hundred dollars a day or something. Some, some crazy, crazy yeah. number like that. Like that. It'd be more than anything's worth. But let's just pursue it. And at this point, I just want to try yeah, to move forward and get some solutions. Forward, yeah. Yeah. So yes, that has been okay. fresh in my mind and taken care of today, or not taken care of, but at least addressed. Okay. Well, um, Sasha, you, I think at the last meeting, you, I don't know if we we, we talked about. It. Re the F Regan's fence? What was that about? Oh, the fence between Sandy Reagan and the town, the town garage. garage. Yeah. Um, like, maybe 70 years ago, somebody that was working for the town at the time did some damage to the fence, and it's just been lingering, and I got White's fence to actually look at it, and we haven't gotten any quote yet. But oh, okay, we're waiting for a we're quote. For okay, a quote. yeah. Um... I'll follow up on this, but I don't think this, um, and I know we heard back from the, uh, this is about the town forestry plan. Yep. Um, and, the, and the ownership of the land. So that's all, that's all. I think it's all, been all. That's all done. Yeah, that's all done. I know, but I mean, have we, so the, it's done? I mean, so I, I don't, when I, we I don't get, know if we f finally submitted it or, you know. So that went to the, um, it went to the agency. From us, it went to the agency. They, and they said it was they fine. Pushed it. Well, they had a question on. So one of the things that was signed off on, like for, uh, I don't know, so many years ago, actually the school signed off on it, and they didn't have to. So we had to send that back to Ron. They were working okay. that, uh, and then it's gone back to the um, A and R. It's in the A and R hands right now. Okay. Um, through the um, yeah, the, but. Land trust. Did, the, the land trust, yeah. Through the, through the, the land, land trust. Yeah, but didn't they respond saying that they told, I thought there was a, an email a couple of months ago, or uh, six weeks ago, saying that they were good with it all. But then they, they it was, but there was one, there was one issue okay. that had to be taken right. care of, and that was getting, so we, and that's what I said, sent back to Ron, yeah. we had to have him look at that to, to basically do a quick claim on some of the decision that was made on the, for the land trust. And it was okay. basically the school board signing off and they didn't have any jurisdiction to they sign on it because yeah. we own the land. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that is, um, our rec committee is working with that. So mm -hmm. it is, it's still moving. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Well, no, I mean, we had a, we had a town plan for a forestry. Uh, John was on and I was right. on. Yeah. We had that worked on the plan. So, I mean, I was just wondering, like, who's with Mike Brown's? I mean, who's, oh, who's on, on first on the far? Maybe I missed it. I, I didn't understand your question. Say it. So what? I'm. I was trying to find out what the final status. We we redid the town forestry management plan. There was a question about the ownership. Yeah. That got resolved. Yeah. Um, I, I. So is it, the, so you're wondering where the town forestry? Where we are at, at, with it, right? I think that's yeah. with um, the rec committee is a part of that. I think so. Let well, me we we did have. I mean, I can check with Chris. I mean, he was on the forestry, uh, the, right. You know, the plant forestry management plan committee. You know, he was on yeah. it as well. But okay, so why don't I? I'll I'll follow up. Follow up with next. Chris. I yeah. think that he. 
And I try to find this email that we got saying that they were good. So I just think whether it's been officially submitted and I will done, look back a matter of record you know? to make sure that we have because uh, I know it went back to Ron's but I don't know if I remember seeing something back from yeah. and I'll ask Cheryl in with that John you know what I'm talking I'm saying you know how we, we did going from draft uh, yes I uh, I think probably uh, Chris would be the one who would take care of any particulars. Yeah, either that or Steve Ross. A and R A and R has been contacted, right? Or yeah, A and R yeah. came back and said they were good. They understood now. So the as long as, as long as they're good, then uh, I think probably <coughs> we just need to adopt that that plan. No, there you go. So okay, let's, so I'll do a little double check. All right. And then you know we can adopt it. Yeah, well, then we everyone can everyone look at the plan. I mean, yeah, I haven't yeah. really seen and read the whole. Oh, there you go. We right. can look at it and just, I mean, get it right done. Because it's already late, anyways. We were late okay. doing it. I mean, no, all well, good. Thank you for bringing that up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And thank you for clarifying. I was. Yeah. I was. I was thinking you just wanted a decision. Yeah. No. No. I just so that we can get it filed yep. in, in the in the book, so to speak. Yeah. The last thing I, I want to just mention and remind us about um, is, you know, we talked about maybe changing some speeds on some dirt roads, you know, that we can now do that. So I was thinking of a really simple one that would make some neighbors, you know, that, you know, would make sense, especially the condition of the road, which is Lover's Lane. And believe it or not, it's 35 on that road, hmm. which is, not doesn't make any sense, especially now with the whole the guardrail that's up, the dangerous passing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Martin does have a sign up that says um, residents only. But I happened to meeting, saw, uh, went over and was saying, said hello to John Larson the other day. And he said most of the neighbors get it because they realize, you know, it's very narrow all yeah. through there. I don't, you know. Um, but, you know, they get the people who come down the road, you know. Anyways, it, it, Actually, right near the Lover's Lane Bridge is where it says 35, you know, which that bridge doesn't even open anymore, but you used to come around there and it would be right, 35. Yeah. So I was just thinking maybe that could be one of our first rows that we actually, you right. know. Wouldn't need many signs. What? We wouldn't need many new signs. No, I think um, cause there's only really one. one on it right now, but I mean, maybe we'd put one at the other end, the Route 2 end, and right. either make it 25 or 30 or something. I think that's good. I think we and put it on the other because this side is now what, Hooper Lane, so it's not. Yeah, you can't. And you can't access anything. Yes, yeah, right. So you could right. just the have speed one limit on sign should be on the other side and have it. I mean, I'd make a motion to change Lover Lane to twenty-five, but you know, I mean, I, mean, I can't imagine that that would. Let's try twenty-five and see where it goes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I'll second that. Why not? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Any further discussion on the motion? No, I mean, you know, at least we could, that could be our first one to sure. just see how it goes, you know? I'm good with that. All in favor of um, changing Lover's Lane to 25 miles an hour? Uh, hey. I second it. That's uh, already been second? Yeah. yeah. All in favor, go to aye. 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 Great. I'm sure that'll make those folks on that road. So, uh, yeah. Sasha, we can um, do the sign. Yeah. Get a new sign. And we'll take the, yeah, move the, we can move it. Right. right. Okay. Of course, we'll Nail stuff? We find no, out, oh, when we find out two sides are $10,000, we'll be like, no, they're 250 <laughs> Oh, that's we'll right. that decision. Money. We actually have some money in the budget. We put a little Yeah, budget. that's great. So, no, I think a thousand certainly not going to get any objections from residents. You're not going to get any objections from anybody else. So. Um, Robin, do you have anything that... I don't have anything, no. There. no. Again, I just wanted to thank everyone um, not being here last meeting. Robin, I understand that you were um, doing a lot of the running it or, or overseeing things. Thank you. Don as well for being everyone. Sasha um, and John. So I yeah. just you three. Well, yeah. John was our, ch co uh, chair. chair. John was our chair. Yeah, but he was being able to hear and... Thank you for the challenge, definitely. But uh, thanks everyone for all your yeah. efforts not being around. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I...
talk or discuss with anyone, so we just have a few uh, invoices we got to look at. Um, but the select board minutes for 617, and yep. I have not had an opportunity to look at them or read the whole things. I read some of it, but not all, so I'm not going to vote on this. Okay. Um, but uh, is there a motion to approve the minutes for uh, June 17th, 24? I'll make a motion. Now we approve the minutes of June 17th. All right. Is there a second? I'll second. I'll second. Uh, John. Done. Or John seconds. And all in favor vote aye. All right. Aye. Right. All right. So the three of you have approved your meeting minutes. Thank you for doing that. Um, and you know what? This is uh, Ruth and my 52nd wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations, today. John. And She's ready for dinner, so if uh, if I kind of like that, <laughs> make a motion. Sign to make a motion. Only, yes. uh, <laughs> only if uh, Ruth comes on the camera, so we can so we can say um, happy, happy anniversary, happy anniversary to the both of you, John. Do you hear that, Ruth? She's <laughs> coming. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, they they, they want to see you. We just want to make sure this is real. We just don't want to make sure John doesn't want to get off. Yeah, he's just trying yeah, to John be trying to sneak off. Responsibilities. I should get an award for putting up with him all these years. <laughs> don't give him that an award. Be... Oh, an, an award. award. I thought you said an award. award. Of course. Oh, yeah, right. we'd give you one of those. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations, Ruth. Yes, congratulations. 52 years, John? That's amazing. Yes. Wow. Wow. That is awesome. And uh, yeah. Ruth. Congratulations, John, to both of you. Thanks all you've done in the community. Ruth, you were a teacher in this community for years. Uh, really the pillars of our community. Uh, the Hugger Booms celebrating their 52nd. Thank you, folks. Have Thank a nice night, John. Much. Sign off. Good, Good night. night. Thank you. All right. Have a nice right. dinner. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Are we invited for that dinner? I didn't know. Was that an invite? No. no. That's the potluck. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, I think we've gone through pretty much most we need here on the old business stuff. Unless anyone has any thoughts, Robin, John, I mean, um, Don, no. Any new business? Not seeing anything? All right, so let's sign these few things that we got. In the oh, I, can. I can tell you one little thing. You can, one little thing. Um, I actually <laughs> talked to Michelle Redmond. I had sent her an email, okay. and I talked to her because, you um, know, uh, the maintenance had been in touch with me a couple of uh, I've, And anyways, they're going to fix that um, hopefully within the, within the next, not this month, but in August. I mean, it, it, five to six weeks from now. Awesome. She, it's on the list to be done. Oh, the giant pole? The thing that's shaking their yeah, house. Yeah, their house. Their house. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, Thanks for following up. Yeah, she's, she's got it on her list. Great, yeah, because I thought that was dead in the water after no, last no, time. No, well, I did see Every like time you brought it up, you heard crickets. It was like... <laughs> but no, dude. That's awesome. The other thing, um, you know, I'm glad you reminded me. I have to say, they're really getting caught up on some of these things. It's you know? good. Know. Oh, I she has a yeah, lot. I know we were talking about. Shit, they're so. still doing stuff from the floods. Oh, yeah, I know. You know, how can they not be? So one other thing that... Um, older new business, I guess. Um, looking at the guys obviously doing a heck of a job out here um, with the, the parking lot and typically they would be taking some vacations like during this time of the month or even later but because we're uh, really monopolizing their, their vacation times during this I know there was, Martin had uh, emailed Cheryl in wondering what type, how much PTO or, or vacation they had less. Okay. I didn't reach out to Martin, so my thought is they're, they're probably wondering how much they have. They probably have a lot and concerned about oh, losing it because of the policy. Okay. Um, so uh, if with you guys' uh, permission, I will assure them that unless there's some extenuating circumstances, I, I just don't see it. I think we can tell them that we will extend their vacation into next year. Um, that they won't lose their they won't, time. They won't lose their time. Right. So that's just, there's no if, ands, and buts. So that way they can at least Pretty know nice that they don't have to jam in a vacation yeah. and stick season. Yeah, and sucky, 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 totally, totally on board, right. 
as hard as they're working, as good of the job as they've done on everything. Yeah, you know, and they're, 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 they're doing their vacation. Their vacation should be secure. Yeah, you shouldn't be worried about yeah, losing well, it. So we'll, we'll worry about yeah, it. Yeah. We'll worry about it next year. Exactly. So um, <laughs> when when they're going to be able to take all that vacation because nothing will get done. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh yeah. yeah, well, Mark. Uh, sorry, I'm gone for the whole summer now. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, see, that's why those policies are in place. Well, of course, I know. We, I, I had a company that we did the same thing. But they'll figure they it out. Five, not they, all gone at the they gave well, us that's five. They gave us five. My old company gave us five sick days for every year of service, and they finally realized it was unsustainable after people had worked there 15 years. You know, we were getting 45 sick days a year, and they were like, "Well, that's not going to work out." No, but um, this way. Yep. Yeah, like no, Don said, they're right. responsible enough, so they're not going to all do that. Because no. if you did it to us once, it would be the last time they did it. Yeah, exactly. You know, they're not great guys. They're doing they're a great do job. I, I, I just personally want to thank them for all the work they, that Ray, that Ray and the crew did. You know, on Jonesbrook Road, resurfacing that. I know that was a big team of thing, and I mean, it just looks great. It's so much nicer to travel on. Thank you, uh, Orca, for coming tonight. I'll uh, shut down the recording. Yep, you can make it up anytime. Yeah, just got a couple things.